If you remember from our planning a theme video, we identified some of the fonts and colors in our mockups. These are considered global styles. All components should have access to the same color scheme, the same fonts, and so on. If you also recall from another video, I used the theme generator to create my theme, so the groundwork is already laid out for me here. But you can do this however you want on your own project. Here we added a global directory, and within it we are adding directories for our colors, our fonts, our utilities, our mix-ins, and so on. See this global.scss file? And see how there are no selectors in here? Like there are no classes or no IDs? That's because we are normalizing or adding some base styles for our basic elements so we don't have to override them on each component. Any specific styling will be at the component level. So let's look at some of these other directories. Here we have our colors.scss file where we create our color variables. Here we assign a variable name and a value. We can use these variables in our components. For example, in our button component, we use some of these colors. So say a client comes back to you and they want to change their primary or their secondary color, then you only have to change it once in this colors file and it will change on all the components that use that color. Here in our fonts, we can set our typefaces. This is where, again, we can create variables and mix-ins to reuse our fonts across the site. And again, if the client decides they want to change their fonts, uh, we can change it here and it will change it on anywhere we call those component, the, that font on that component. Um, again, just to help prevent duplication. So I'm not going to go through each of these, but I do want to cover the util section a bit more. Uh, here we can create our SAS mixins. Um, we can create our breakpoints. That way we can reuse them. Again, if the breakpoints change, it, it's one, preventing duplication, and two, you change it once and you change it everywhere. Um, and we could also create mixins for some common style patterns. Uh, my rule of thumb is if I find myself using the same set of styles more than three times, you could probably make a mixin. So when we're using component-based development, how do we tell Drupal and Pattern Lab that we want to use global styles? We can do this by creating an init file that imports all of our global files. Then at the component level, we add our init file that will inherit the global styles so we can access our mixins and our variables. And looking at this now, I see I'm still using the defaults that were brought in from Theme Generator. And I'm not using the colors yet for the Netflix theme design that I found. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to remove the colors that I don't need. I'm going to change this to the real black. And I'm going to add my red that I noted in my designs. I took out that trade wind variable. So I need to remove all the references I can find to it or I will get an error. We only need to do this once um, since we were removing it. And I'm also going to do this for all the other variables that I removed. When working on projects, I try to add as much as I can to the global section before I start building components. But the global mixins and colors, they still continue to grow throughout the project, so don't feel pressured to get everything figured out before you start. Just get a good base. Okay.